At the beginning of the Death Race film, it becomes evident that crimes in America are on the rise each day. As a result of those crimes, the number of people in prison has increased. Seeing the situation, the government has started a campaign for private jails. Likewise, many private jails were made in America because of the increasing rate of crime in America. The number of prisoners was increasing as per the crime rate. Like this, the prisoners were sent to private jails. There was a jail named Terminal Island and there an illegal race was held. The dangerous modified cars were used in the race. These cars were full of weapons. The prisoners of jail drive those cars. This race contains five rounds and the prisoner who wins the five rounds will be released. They earn a lot of money like this they do a live broadcast of this. The audience likes this death game a lot. The story starts in jail terminal island is shown. The race is shown at its final round and a man named Frankenstein was winning this. There was a mask on Frankenstein's face. Something strange happens here when Frankenstein was about to win this race it is discovered Frankenstein's weapons were deactivated. Another man is shown in the other car. He was at second number in this race. He hits Frankenstein's car. There was a girl as well in Frankenstein's car who was his partner. Her name was Case. Frankenstein asks Case to leave the car. Case leaves the car and as she leaves Frankenstein's car blasts. The scene shifts and a man named Jensen is shown outside the jail. Jensen does a job in a construction company. Everything was going smoothly but suddenly, the police officers arrive. Because this construction task was illegal. But the people have to do this job because of unemployment. The police start beating everyone. There was a heavy fight between the workers of this company and the police. Gradually, they flee from there. Jensen also comes to his home. A happy family of Jensen is shown. It includes his wife and younger daughter. This is how time passes. A masked man arrives at Jensen's house. He was about to end Jensen's wife. Jensen arrives to save his wife. But he also makes Jensen faint. Jensen comes to his senses after some time but his wife was dead. The police arrive and they believe Jensen has ended his wife. They arrest Jensen. They put him in jail. Jensen was also brought to the Terminal Island Jail. The time passes but there were some people who didn't like Jensen. They were doing preparations to end Jensen. They attack Jensen when he was eating food. The police arrive and make them separate. The jail's warden discovers this the warden calls Jensen into her cabin. She says to Jensen you don't know whom you have ended. They are perilous and have the potential to terminate you at any moment. The warden sees Jensen's file during this. She discovers Jensen is a good driver. He is also a capable racer now the warden tells Jensen about the race she says we release the prisoner who wins this race. With it she also tells Jensen about Frankenstein. That his face was burned. He used to drive while wearing the mask. The people haven't seen his face since today. But the people like his race a lot. Now he is dead and I want you to participate in this race being Frankenstein. But Jensen refuses. The warden tells him if he will be here in this jail they will tease him. We will release you if you will win the race. Hearing this Jensen says yes. The warden says the rest of the information will be given to you by the coach. She sends him to the coach. The coach informs Jensen of the race at this point. In this race, anyone can kill anyone. The duration of this race is three days. The racers have many weapons. You also have to take care of your car's speed. You will win the race if you will remain alive till the third day. Jensen returns to jail after all this. He notices some people here. He notices the tracking device on those people's hands. He asks the coach why there is a tracking device on their hands? Suddenly, Jensen remembers the man who ended his wife was also wearing this tracking device. The scene shifts to race day. The warden gives Jensen the mask of Frankenstein. They all were sent in their cars. Meanwhile, a car arrives and many girls come out from it. They were also prisoners and were also participating in the race. The girl case is shown she was Frankenstein's partner. She sits in Jensen's car. Case hears the voice she discovers he is not Frankenstein. The race starts and it was broadcasting everywhere. The TRP was high as it had been previously. Jensen drives the car dangerously. 
the audience considers him Frankenstein. Likewise, Jensen's car was at number one. The other prisoner hits his car seeing this. Case says if the speed of your car will be this we will get many weapons going forward. We will also get the petrol. Some dangerous tracks were also shown in between the race. If there will be a car in front of those tracks the car and driver both will be ended. The other car driver fires at Jensen badly. Jensen again comes at number one while escaping from the bullets. He notices the man who has attacked him in jail. The man again gestures to end Jensen. Seeing his gesture, Jensen remembers his wife's death. The killer of his wife also gestured like this. Jensen believed this man has ended his wife. Jensen tries to end the man. But he couldn't and the race ended. Putting his car in the garage after the race he chases the man. There was a heavy fight between them. When Jensen was about to end the man a police officer makes him faint. Here we discovered the Rayal story the police officer has asked the man to end Jensen's wife. He has made this done to arrest Jensen. To bring him into this jail and take Frankenstein's place. The race starts the next day, Jensen drives his car slowly and asks Case what does she know about the warden? Case tells him warden is clever and she knows how she has to use people. She asked me to disable Frankenstein's weapons. After it she will release me from here. The warden wants Frankenstein to lose this race. She wants to keep this game's popularity. Like this she will not have to release Frankenstein. That's why she made Frankenstein end. Hearing this, Jensen became enraged and drove his car at a high rate. Jensen fires at that man. The killer of his wife. Jensen makes a new plan and does smoke in front of that man's car. The car of the man tilts and as he comes out Jensen ends him. Jensen has broken this game's rule. Because no prisoner is allowed to come out of his car during the race. Meanwhile, the warden sends a dangerous truck. The truck fires at the cars while reaching there. The cars were in danger. One more prisoner was supporting Jensen. Jensen says we have to compete with this truck together they move to the dangerous track with the cars. As their cars move from the track some rods appear from track. As the truck collapses with those rods it destroys completely. They were happy because they have stopped huge destruction. The race on the second day also finishes. Following the race, Jensen's supporter comes to meet him. But the man considers him Frankenstein that's why he came to meet him he discovers Frankenstein has died after hearing Jensen's voice. Later, the warden is shown. She was furious. She has borne a great loss because she was working in the truck for many days. Jensen has destroyed it within a minute. Now the warden gets scared. The warden asks the police officer that he has to end Jensen soon, agreeing with the warden, the police officer fixes the bomb under Jensen's car. Now the race of the third day starts the warden comes to Jensen and says I have prepared your papers. You have to just win this race. Case comes to him and tells him everything about the warden. That warden has warned her to stop Jensen to win. The race starts and Jensen takes his car forward at a high speed. He doesn't get petrol or weapons. The other prisoner gets everything. He fires at his car. The other prisoner chases him and Jensen drives his car at high speed. He leaves a rocket launcher from his car but instead of hitting his car, it hits the wall. There was smoke everywhere. As the smoke removes they notice the cars were disappeared. They discover the cars were moving out of the jail. The warden was worried it is discovered here they have made this plan before. They will break the wall and will escape from here. The warden remembers that she has fixed a bomb in Jensen's car but the coach has the bomb and he has disabled the bomb. Now they were running from there. The police officers try to stop them while firing but they move from there. Meanwhile, the warden sends two choppers behind them. The helicopters fire at them. Jensen and his companion get separated. Jensen jumps from his car. Case takes his car forward while driving. She stops the car at a far distance and comes out while wearing Frankenstein's mask. The police catch her. They think he is Frankenstein. On another side, the warden and the police officer are shown happy they feel like they have caught Jensen. The people were giving them gifts and there was a gift in front of the warden. As she opens the gift she receives the bomb she has fixed in Jensen's car. The bomb blasts here. The warden and the police office die. Meanwhile, the coach is shown because he has sent this bomb. 
Jensen and his companion are shown on another side and get on a train while running. Jensen says I have to go to my daughter at first. I will come to you as I will find my daughter. The time passes like this. A garage is shown Jensen was working with his companion and this is their garage. A car arrives and Case is shown coming out of the car. Because Case was also released from jail. Case has also arrived and Jensen arranges for her to meet his daughter. This movie ends here. Thank you for watching.